and he went to see his doctor and his doctor wasn't there and his nurse made the assessment which they're not allowed to do yeah <laughs> that he had h1n1 flu <laughs> so when he went to make his appointment the doctor told him not to come in and see him mm -hmm. on the prognosis of a nurse that doesn't have a medical degree well i, think I it, frankly uh, think they both need to be sued i think in many cases the nurses know more about medicine than the, than the doctors do but this this flu vaccination thing i mean that it is truly truly ridiculous and i tell people to educate yourself uh, go to some place like drcarly.com uh, dr rebecca carly she's got a a documentary called vaccines the new weapons of mass destruction years ago she had a baby and when it had its shots the baby went autistic and this lady started looking into it and she went on the warpath and uh, in 2003 they took her medical license away but the documentary she has up there she comes right out and says it you know she said I'm here to kill medicine and she calls the doctors the same as I do you know the white coats but she brings it out entire the, the, here you want to know the entire truth about what vaccines are all about and what they do for God's sakes watch this documentary it's very informative and once you see it you'll never take a vaccine Thimerosal, which is half mercury. Oh, by the way, take the if you're worried about getting the flu, hemp oil again, best flu fighter on the planet. Here, here. <laughs> yeah, the vaccination, from what we understand, checking on uh, the internet is uh, very toxic and dangerous. We highly advise against it. <laughs> Technically, it's we're entitled to our opinion. It's an opinion. <laughs> it's not advice. I, I just wrote a recent, recently, I, after I did the tour in the Czech Republic, uh, I spoke, I think, at about 10 functions over there, put on the seminars, and uh, just recently I was contacted by the Hemp Magazine in the Czech Republic, and they asked me if I would be willing to write, you know, another article about the tour. So I wrote the article, and I have it here if you'd like to hear it. I, I don't think the Canadian government would much like to hear it, but I think the Canadian people have a right to. Are there any four-letter words in there? Not one. No, you don't get anywhere by swearing at anyone. Go ahead. But I'll go for it here. The Czech Republic, my kind of country. I'm happy to hear that our hemp medicine tour has gained a lot of attention. I feel that it is more than possible that the Czech Republic could be the country that will open the door to hemp's medicinal use to the world. Your wonderful country has such a long history with the use of this plant. It seems only fitting that such a country should bring the truth about hemp's medicinal use to the public. The scientific evidence is all in place, and great researchers such as Dr. Lemire Hanus <clears throat> are backing my position in regards to the use of this medicine. Big money concerns and corrupted governments have fed the public a pack of lies about the hemp plant, all in the name of profit. In reality, the simple truth is that hemp is the most medicinal plant on earth. If the public has access to the wonderful medicine this plant produces, drug companies would be out of business. I would not have a problem with pharmaceutical companies if they provided us with medications that work, or that worked. <clears throat> but it seems that all such companies provide are dangerous, poisonous, harmful, and often addictive chemicals. Why would anyone in their right mind turn to such so-called medications to help their medical conditions? This is total madness. Hemp is simply a healing herb that man has utilized throughout history in a great variety of ways. Nowadays, about 50,000 different things can be produced from the hemp plant. Food, fuel, paper, textiles, cosmetics, insulation, building materials, medicine, etc. All can be produced from this plant. If hemp were grown freely, it would put people back on the land where they belong. Once again, many of us could become self-sufficient, and hemp-based industries that are earth-friendly would employ hundreds of millions worldwide. This one plant can solve most of the problems currently facing mankind. All we have to do is grow this plant and my, mankind will have a much brighter future. We are all befuddled by what goes on in this world, but the simple truth is, hemp is the answer. We live in a world fueled by fossil fuels and corruption. We all know that fossil fuels are poisoning our planet, so why don't we do something about it? This is our watch and it is our responsibility to see that the earth is a decent place to live for coming generations. Do you want your children to be born into or have to live in a poison environment? Stand with me. Help make the changes that are necessary. Let's give our children and ourselves a future. Many people have a hard time believing what the essential oil from the hemp plant can do. But if you look at, at the history of hemp's medicinal use, it all becomes clear. Throughout history, hemp has always been known as man's oldest known and safest medication. 
for thousands of years, hemp has been known to be non-addictive and has always been recognized as the most medicinal plant on earth. Historically, hemp was called a panacea, which means cure-all, and was used to treat practically all types of injury and diseases. Now, why should it surprise anyone that the essential oil of the hemp plant, when produced properly, is a cure-all? What frightens the drug companies so badly about hemp medicine is the simplicity of it. When you grow high-grade strains of hemp, you can see the resin on the buds. This resin is the medicine. All I do is use a solvent to wash the resin off the plant material. I then filter it and boil the solvent off, which leaves me with the essential oil of the hemp plant. Just about anyone can grow hemp and produce this wonderful medication themselves. No longer will you be tied to a medical system that doesn't work, for now you have a, med a medicine far better than anything the system has. No matter how you look at it, hemp is a God-given plant and no one has the right to tell you that you cannot grow this plant and produce your own medicine. As a human being, you have the right to life and of course you have the right to preserve your health and th with this wonderful medicine. Anyone who is trying to keep this plant's use from the public is simply manipulating the public for profit. In the very near future, such people will be exposed for the criminals they really are. <clears throat> Although I was born a Canadian, after visiting the Czech Republic, I must say that I have fallen in love with your beautiful country and its people. Your country is a young republic, therefore corruption has not embedded itself too deeply. If the Czech government does the right thing in regards to this issue, they could set an example to the rest of the world. Imagine a country that actually puts the health and welfare of its citizens first. Wouldn't this be refreshing for a change, compared with the graft and corruption that is currently going on worldwide? From my point of view, Canada is beyond redemption. In fact, I think that North America is the most corrupted continent on earth. <clears throat> I have provided this oil to the public to treat their medical problems since 2003. I contacted all the right people and organizations, but they refused to do anything to rectify the situation. That is why I am ashamed to admit I am a Canadian. How could I be proud to call myself a Canadian when our government knows full well that their corruption is killing their own people? My aim has always been to produce this medicine on a grand scale and supply it on a donation basis. If you don't have the money, you still get the medicine. No one should suffer and die because they don't have enough money in their pockets. If the Czech government is willing, I would be happy to move there and supply this medicine to the Czech people. <clears throat> As yet, I really don't know what country will be the first to act, but I fully intend to be there when it happens. In Canada, the government has tried to make me into a criminal because I eased human suffering and saved lives with this oil. I am on a quest to find a country that does not treat people like myself as criminals. This article I am writing could be taking, taken as a formal proposal to the Czech government. I can only hope that your government is willing to do something that will truly help the Czech people. The first country that allows this medicine to be produced freely will have a great influx of tourists looking for medicine that can help their medical conditions. This would be a great boost to the economy of such a country. Also, this medicine will lower the cost of medical care dramatically for their own people. No matter what, hemp medicine is back, and once again, hemp will be widely used in mainstream medicine. The only question is remaining is, in, is what country will be the first to act. When I came to the Czech Republic in 2009, I had never been to Europe before. I thought the Czech Republic would be much like Canada, a, repre a repressed police state. I was stunned to find a beautiful country seemingly full of happy people who looked at smoking hemp with a so what attitude. The medical use of hemp has little or nothing to do with smoking it. In fact, smoking hemp is the least medicinal way to use this wonder of nature. But it did my heart good to see so many people, so many open-minded people in your country. When I first arrived in the Czech Republic, I knew nothing of hemp's historical relationship to the Czech people. I have since learned that the hemp plant may have originated in the Czech Republic and has historical uses that date back 26,000 years. I was amazed when I was shown hemp castles and all the hemp products that are currently available in your country. <clears throat> it may sound strange to hear such a thing from a foreigner, but when I saw the Czech Republic, something inside me felt like I had just come home after a very long absence. Here before me was a country whose population seems to not have been brainwashed by all the by all the false propaganda about hemp, a culture that still has a strong connection to the land, and it was very obvious that land is not wasted in the Czech Republic, it's farmed. I really don't think the Czech people have to worry about starvation, and the food they produce is the best I have ever eaten. It was a true delight for me to travel throughout the Czech Republic on this speaking tour. I met so many interesting people. 
a movie star, 